Episode 47. Welcome. Yeah, he's, he's Chris. That's Aaron, right here. Yeah, we're, we're here. We're, right b- here. We're back in our normal location. We're back doing the norm. Yeah. There. It knows this show. It knows coming. episode twenty is it's here. Struck lightning. No, welcome. Episode twenty three. Episode twenty three. Urge weekly. No. Urge weekly. No. It's the yeah. Ultra RC hobby show. Everyone knows that. So let's uh, let's pull some clips off here and see what we got. Oh, yeah, I'll pull the front. Welcome to episode twenty four. Twenty four. Ultra RC hobby show. Welcome, welcome. Car Club to get you a little bit more information uh, if you wanted to start out in on road racing. Episode 36. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah. He's Chris. I'm, I'm Aaron. Aaron. I'm just going to go with it. I'm done. I'm done trying to correct it. <laughs> uh, episode 38. Welcome. Welcome. He's Chris. He's Aaron. Hey, you got a missile? Grandpa's Drift Missile, there we go. That's gonna be the hashtag for this yeah. build. Grandpa's Drift Missile. There we go. <laughs> uh, She'll skid. She'll slide. Episode 42. Episode 42. Welcome. Welcome. He's Chris. Aaron. 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 Or Aaron. Aaron. Whatever, whatever you're If you done messed up. Yeah. Welcome. Uh, Episode welcome. 43. Welcome. I'm gonna check it Yeah. Um, first, first normal episode in what? Three weeks? Yeah, somewhere Four weeks. Here. So we're back. Uh, we have a whole bunch of cool stuff going on. Uh, we're gonna unbox a Tamiya Rally Beetle. So we're pretty pumped about that. Uh, we have a Techno ET48.3 on the bench, getting ready for April. Uh, the Chilliwack Big Barn Shootout number three. Mm-hmm. Um, we're getting ready that that ready for a customer. So we're gonna walk you through some of the vital things you should look at. Um, you know, in between races, so week to week, um, things you should always check maintenance wise. We're going to give you some pro tips while we're building it, uh, and we're going to kind of sprinkle them in the show here and there. So that's going to be really, really cool. And we're going to talk more about that rally beetle. Um, is there anything else you'd like to add, sir? Have you ripped anything lately, or is it too darn cold? I took the UDR out and the TRX out the other day, but I didn't get any footage. It was so cold out. It, yeah, yeah, it's been really cold. This cold spell kind of sucks for our seas. Everyone's in hibernation mode. So instead of having running videos, let's talk about things you should be doing while it's cold, working on your stuff when you have nothing else to do. Because mm. this is just as important as running. Because if you don't have a good running operating vehicle, you're not going to have fun when you want to go take it out and run because yeah. it will be broken. It's not going to last long. Hence my UDR. Fix it. <laughs> Fix it! Fix it! Fix it! I can't! Ah! I don't know if you noticed, but he's a little mad. So it's riled up. But anyway, let's get right into episode 47. Okay. Aaron, I hope this doesn't bug you, but we gotta be able to talk about it. Did you do it the right way? Look at you go! Of course I did. You're damn, you're damn impressive. Okay, so this is actually gonna be built here through the shop. Who's it for? Um, it's for Kevin Locke, actually. Hi, Kevin. So, Kevin is the gentleman that sent us the license plate, yes. the HRC plates for all our drift cars. Mm-hmm. Um, we sent a lot of stuff out to him, and he is actually from British Columbia, so it's kind of cool. A, a customer from afar. Yeah, we're going to give it the Saskatchewan touch. Yeah, so we're going to build did. it for him, we're going to custom paint it, mm-hmm. and he told me specifically not to send him any pictures throughout the build. He'll just watch on the show. So we have Ooh. to be as in-depth as go. possible yeah. uh, to keep him informed. Because yeah. he said, if I don't see it, I'll get mad. Yeah, he's so. going to return it. <laughs> exactly. So I'll give you the honors, Chris. You kind of know this kit. Let's unbox well, I don't think it. I need a knife. I mean, oh, just, do it nice. It's just plastic. How do you rip plastic open nicely? You, you go need to right, take no, it no, all in here, in here, in the crack. You're sure picky. Oh, no, I just, just if you're going to do it. Well, you, True. True. <laughs> okay. Is that good? Uh, you did amazing. Are you happy? Yeah, I am really. All I want to do is satisfy you. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate that. 
Oh, oh I'm holding this thing up. Yeah. Okay, I got the bottom. Oh, the suction. Boom. Okay, Chris. So this is a kit. I right? had one of these, but not the beetle. You had the, I had the Jimny. The Jimny. So looking at the box here, it's actually quite nice box art. You took all the plastic off anyway. Yeah, but we can put it back on to ship it back I out. I want to see you it. put that back on. Challenge accepted. Yeah, after the show. Okay. Challenge accepted. <laughs> so on the box, it's a very, very nice box. Very nice clip art. But the biggest thing is that on the new Kamiya kits, you're actually getting an electronic speed control TBL. and a motor. Yeah, TBL 02S. So the only thing you need and to add to finish this. torque tuned, I believe, with this guy. Torque that is tuned. correct. Yeah. It's almost like he's had one or eight of these. So we uh, just need to put in a radio, receiver, a battery, a charger, and a steering circuit. Yes. We got some bumpers. Oh, we got a nice body here. The nice Ooh. polycarbonate clear body. Does he know what color he wants to go with? No, he's gonna leave it up to Hex. Oh. So he said, just do whatever you want to do. Exciting. Make it Ultra RC style. Yeah. And I'm like, well, that is a bad we choice. We have a weird style. I don't think we really have a style. I'm little puppy dogs all over it or something. I was thinking rainbows and kitties. Rainbows and kitties? Rainbows Ooh. and kitties. <laughs> okay. Powerpuff Girls or something? Hey man. Hey, I don't know. I was in Care Bears. We've got our. Uh, <laughs> Did he just, just totally just avoided it? Just like, nope, that's stupid. Put Lionheart on. <laughs> nope, that's stupid. Put Lionheart on. Nope, there. that's stupid. We've got our off-road uh, hubs and knuckles. Talk about off-road. This is a rally car. We got, we got some nice tires. aggressive tires. The, the rally block. We also from got Tia. a bag. This is going to be all of your screws, your motors in here, all your differential gears, and all those parts are all on this guy. So one question. I see some 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 brass bushings and some plastic yes. bushings. Yes. We're going to be putting bearings in because Tamiya, in about 99% of the kits, they only give you bushings. So what's the advantage of doing bearings over bushings? Bearings are going to be a lot smoother, whereas bushings are going to wear and they're going to create that drag, which is going to create more motor heat and everything. Everything's going to wear out quicker. Is there going to be more slop in like the wheels and stuff? Much more slop. Oh, okay. So we're going to have a way more it's precise gonna rally faster. car. It's going to steer better. It's going to roll. Oh, I like it. It's got fog lights. It's going fast in the dark. Ooh. Love it. In the dark. We got all our bumpers and control arms in that one. And then we've got all our chassis pieces right here. So this is these come in three different pieces depending on which wheelbase you're going to build the vehicle. So you've got short wheelbase, medium wheelbase, and long wheelbase. So it can be built three different ways. Like I said, it's almost like he's built one or eight of these. Yeah. Just saying. Some Sweet nice rims. wheels. What else? What's this? Transmission gearbox? Transmission casing, gearbox. Yeah, that's gearbox. The the oh, we got hexes and everything else. So that's pretty much all you get for main parts. But you get uh, just a nice little owner's manual here. Yeah. That's and then we cool. get. Uh, Body info. Body info. So build. this is, yeah, this is going to give you an idea of where to put all the decals and how to tape it, mask it, and do everything else. Also, how to mount your wheels and tires. And on the back, you all get uh, fog light details. information. A nice manual. Definitely not a bad manual. No, like, they're pretty I've gone basic. through a couple now. Pretty basic. They're pretty easy to go through, yeah. Uh, an ant antenna, too. Always good to have. Mine always came with clear ones. What the heck? What? What? And then we get our window masks. Yep. So these get put on the inside of the body before you paint it so you can keep the windows clear. And you get a boatload of decals. So you can pretty much build it to look just like that if you want to paint it the same. So that's pretty neat. But that's, uh, that's the unboxing of this Tamiya. So I, I think we're going to let Chris use his specialty on that. And uh, we're going to let him build it because he's built enough of them. Yeah. So he's going to have some time lapse footage. And like I said, Kevin said keep it really in depth. He doesn't want any like photos of it. He just wants to see it being built. So you gotta like pretty meticulous here, holding you to a high standard. Well, I can do it. I'll put everything together with an impact gun and thread well, lock. One in doubt, two ugadugas. Yeah, sometimes three for the wheel nuts. I like it. Yeah. Okay, so that is that. So now I gotta put this all back together. Now this is the fun part. Yep. Then this guy. No, we got a tenant tube first. It was this. Oh, that guy, and then this guy. It was that, and then it was this. Does this go right there? And the tires. This one here. This and one this here. Guy. And these guys. This one here. Over in there, and then this guy. Yeah. Oh, and then body. Oh, oh. oh. TBL O2 goes outside the body. That was our issue. There we go. Okay, so get this out of the way. Okay, so next on the. I thought you put it back in the box. Wow. <laughs>
Um, um, We're not leaving. I try to put it back. <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. Okay. Next on the agenda here. Techno. Techno. Et. Forty-eight. Four ten. No. Forty-eight. This is not four ten. Point three. But four ten means four wheel drive ten scale. Yes. This is four wheel drive eight, eight scale. scale. Point three is correct. Yeah. Point three. So we're building this for our good buddy Evan Freelick. Um, you probably remember this like way way back when we opened. Mm. Uh, we actually built this car. And we did like some tech tips and a whole bunch of other stuff, but it wasn't quite as in depth as what we're gonna do at this time. It was just some pictures, really wasn't anything fancy. So now you guys cannot get away from Chris and mine and our ugly mugs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through this. We're gonna give you a week by week maintenance schedule, things you should look at, things you should look for, what you should be changing, even if you don't have much time, things that you know need regular service, things that people don't think about to service, mm -hmm. that they should, uh, as well as when you take the car apart at the end of the season, what you should replace, um, you know, things that you should look at uh, replacing and, and keeping. Normal wear and tear stuff you wouldn't normally think about, but with, yeah. with racing it really matters. As well as keeping detailed instructions about um, like setup yeah. changes yep. uh, with shock oils, diff oils. oils. Um, you know, camber rates, links, yeah. roll centers, all that stuff. So we're kind of going to give you an in-depth of what's going down, kind of how I would run my race program or how I'm going to teach Chris how to run his race program this summer because he wants one of these too. Yeah. So now in every video, everyone has to comment Chris by ET48.3. Oh, you almost cut ET410. I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> cut. Just cut. Real quick. <laughs> Done. But yeah, so we're going to do that. So we're going to have some in-depths on that. Um, and Chris is going to learn some stuff and, and I hope to teach. And then, if you have, and, if you, and then if you have any questions through any of the build, post them down below and we would be happy to answer them. So yeah, I think, I think this is going to be kind of a boring episode because like we really not boring. Come but on, I mean, we unboxed that awesome we little Tamiya that but I mean, like, awesome. We had like a whole bunch of videos before yeah. Christmas and New Year's. I got lazy. Like, I didn't go running, my running, trucks, running, sorry. running. But this is going to be even better. It's cold. This is going to be kind of the tips and tricks of what you should be doing right now while you have a little bit of downtime, you know, before the racing season kicks in or if you're winter racing right now. Yeah. Even if it's not racing, just bashing, you know, running in water, running in sand. Stuff like that mm -hmm. is just hard on All equipment. All toll. Yep, exactly. So I just replaced the wheel bearings on the UDR yesterday. Man. Snap one and a half. Yeah, that Snapchat you sent me of just inner race, outer yeah. race. No balls. So technically, was it just a half bushel? There was three balls in there. Out of a lot more. Out of like eight or nine, something like that. Yeah, yeah. it was missing some balls. It was a little balls. creaky. Yeah. It's broken. It actually didn't break apart until I actually went to spin it in my hand. <laughs> and then it just like fell right apart. And I was like, ooh. Maybe we're not going to let Chris do it. As he just said, he has some wicked hand strength. He's just going to break this for yeah, me. I was not even using screwdrivers. Just and I'm amazed when you hands. opened that box, you didn't just straight cut through it. I was cut just through the glass. Like punch through it, but I think I better not do. we got to yeah. send it to Kevin. True. Anyway. I think you guys need to start commenting, Aaron, fix your UDR. Fix the UDR. Because I need to drive with this guy. And I mean, I'm getting sad not driving my UDR with anyone else. So... Sorry, Chris. He's like, he's like, I'm not just mad, I'm just disappointed. Yeah, just I'm not disappointed. mad, I'm disappointed. Yeah, it's even worse. Anyway, that was episode 47. 47. Yeah. Thank Three you. from 50. Are we going to give something away for 50? Wow. That's halfway to 100. That's, yeah, that's true. <laughs> There's a lot of addition happening in my head. I was kind of amazed. I'm amazed you did that so quick. I had a headache. Just, boom. That's where the smoke's coming from. Yeah. Don't worry, Kevin. It wasn't your ESC, just Chris's brain. We're good. So... Thank you for watching. Yes. Make Don't sure to like, comment, and subscribe. He beat me to it. Don't forget to share with all your friends on Facebook. Check out our Instagram. Ultra RC Hobbies. Check out our Snapchat. Ultra RC Hobbies. Check out our website. Ultra RC Hobbies. Hobbies. Com. Com. Don't forget to check him out at Instagram at RC Deeps. Yeah. yeah. Check his page out. He's always doing stuff on the UDR, always wrenching on stuff. So uh, yeah, let's start this new year out right and, and get a couple builds going. Make sure everyone's informed and your stuff is ready for springtime this summer or spring. This spring. Or whatever you want to do. Well, it'll be ready for spring in the summer. You, you're, you're late. True. Oh, and our dust off event. Yeah. You can bring good. your brand new, freshly rebuilt vehicle to our dust off event. Ooh. So and there'll be more take details. Take out some jumps and smash it and we can fix it. True. This is an accurate statement. Yeah. So anyway, thank you for watching. 
We'll catch you on the next one. Bye.